We've seen a number of ways to read, print, and import flat files. As a data scientist, you will most often wish to use Pandas. However, it was important to check out all the possible ways to import because you never know when they'll be useful. In the next chapter, we'll see just how useful Pandas can be when attempting to import a variety of other file types, such as Excel spreadsheets, along with native SAS and Stata files. It's also important to remember that, due to the active development community in open source software, there is constant activity in file formats and ways to import data. For example, on March 29, 2016, Wes McKinney, the creator of Pandas and Hadley Wickham of R development fame, announced a new and fast on-disk format for data frames for R and Python called Feather. As data frames are one of the most important data structures for data scientists, let's definitely keep our eyes on Feather. After learning to import many other file types in the next chapter, you'll learn how to interact with relational databases in Python. Then, in the second part to this course, you'll learn how to tear all types of data down from the web and how to interact with APIs to fulfill your big data fix. These are all essential techniques for the modern day data scientist to master, and the upcoming chapters and course will place you in good stead to becoming an importing data ninja Pythonista.